miraculous healing at the children's hospital. In a quiet town nestled between rolling green hills, there was a small children's hospital. It was a place filled with laughter, hope, and the courage of young hearts fighting battles too big for their years. Among the children there, cancer was a word spoken softly but never without determination. One day, as the warm rays of the sun streamed through the hospital windows, a man dressed in simple robes arrived. His name was Jesus, though few recognized him right away. His smile was kind, his eyes glowed with compassion, and wherever he stepped, it seemed the room grew brighter. He entered the hospital unannounced, moving gently from room to room. The first child he met was Lily, a six-year-old girl with bright red hair and a love for painting. Jesus sat beside her bed and spoke softly. What do you love to paint, Lily? he asked. Flowers, she whispered, her voice barely audible. Jesus smiled and touched her hand. You are like a flower, Lily. Beautiful, strong, and full of life. As he spoke, color returned to her cheeks, and her tiny fingers, once too tired to hold a brush, now danced with energy. She felt a warmth in her chest, as though the sun itself had moved inside her. From there, Jesus walked into the room of Matteo, a twelve-year-old boy who loved soccer, but hadn't played in months. Matteo was asleep, his brow furrowed in pain. Jesus placed his hand gently on Matteo's head and whispered, Wake up, champion. Matteo's eyes fluttered open, and he smiled as if waking from a wonderful dream. For the first time in months he felt strong enough to sit up. Word of the mysterious visitor spread quickly, and soon nurses, doctors, and families gathered in the hallways, watching as Jesus moved from room to room. He healed Ava, who had lost her hair but never her hope, and twins Sarah and Sam, whose laughter returned like a melody long forgotten. In each room, Jesus didn't just heal bodies. He touched hearts, reminding everyone of the power of faith, love, and miracles. In each room, Jesus didn't just heal bodies. He touched hearts, reminding everyone of the power of faith, love, and miracles. In each room, Jesus didn't just heal bodies. He touched hearts, reminding everyone of the power of faith, love, and miracles. When the doctors asked him how this was possible, he simply said, Love has no limits, and faith makes all things possible. By the end of the day, the hospital was unrecognizable. Children who had once been too weak to stand were now running through the halls. Parents who had cried tears of sorrow now wept tears of joy. And just as quietly as he had come, Jesus left, his presence lingering in the air like a warm embrace. But he left behind something even greater than physical healing. He left hope, a reminder that even in the darkest moments, miracles can happen. From that day on, the children's hospital became a symbol of faith and resilience, and those who were there never forgot the day when the man in simple robes brought light into their lives.